Today, we're going to be talking about nine years of mailman experience in under 10 minutes. Number one. Be aware of your surroundings and your route, man. Like you got to pay attention to high volume addresses because you know that they're going to get something. Matter of fact, most of the time you'll know that a certain house is going to get a package and a lot of mail every single day. Use a bundling technique in the morning time with a rubber band, a rubber band, all the letters in the DPS that's going to this particular address and put all of their packages together. That way, when you get to that house, you just grab and go. You know, in the morning time, you have to go through the DPS and you have to make sure that the dps is in order so while you're doing that make sure you have rubber bands on your wrist so that you can bundle up that stuff when you see it and while we're talking about that all of the flat parcels and you know what i'm talking about we call them babies in my office but all of the flat parcels make sure you go to your hamper and you pull those small pieces out and you case those small pieces so that way that'll be less that you have to worry about when you're trying to deliver packages you can throw those packages in the mailbox with the dps and the flats when you pull up to that address dogs now you know you got to keep dog spray make sure when you pull up at that address you're looking around to look for like dog pieces that's what i call them because you might see a bone in the yard you might see some dog toys you might see a dog house make sure you're being aware when you pull up at every single house what's going on in that yard and guys avoid walking in the grass I don't walk in the grass, period. I walk through driveways and, you know, walkways and things like that because I don't want to step in no dog poop. OK, so don't get in the grass, period. That's my advice for you guys. And I know most of the time walking through the grass is faster because it's a straight cut route to the front door. I'm telling you, you'll save a lot of your footwear if you don't walk in the grass. Trust me, tall grass or cut grass don't matter. I avoid grass at all costs. Use proper lifting techniques. You want to keep your back in shape, man. So most of the time what I do is when I pick up a heavy package, I make sure that I use my legs to lift the package up. I don't lift up with my back because if you do that over time, you're definitely going to have back pain. It's going to hurt. Sooner or later, it might not hurt now, but the more and more you're consistent with lifting with your back, it's going to affect your body over time. Trust me on that. Also, avoid slouching when you're sitting in the truck and when you're driving, because slouching over time will be your permanent posture if you keep slouching. So when you're riding in the truck, make sure your back is straight. Make sure that your chest is up. Make sure that you have the proper posture because we do this work every day and your body will get used to sitting in that position. So make sure you're sitting up straight, all right? We don't want that mailman hunchback of Notre Dame look, all right? We are trying to avoid that. Now, this is what I do. I wear a postal rig and I found this rig on Amazon. It's like maybe $15, $20, I can't remember. I'll put it up on the screen. But man, that rig has saved me from putting a lot of things in my pockets. I put the dog spray in on the left side, have my phone on the right side, scanner on the left side, got my pens in there and everything. Man, it was a lifesaver. And I keep my pockets clear. You know, like I don't even carry my wallet to work or anything. Um, but with my ID, I'm also able to put my driver's license inside of this rig as well. So it's a really valuable tool. Um, if I find it again on Amazon, I'll put a link in the description so you can get one. Strap your arrow keys to your belt loop. Don't stick them in your pocket, man. A lot of arrow keys come up missing because we put them in our pockets. Put the arrow keys on your belt loop so that way it's always connected to your body at all times unless you ain't got no pants on. And one thing about the arrow keys attached to the belt loop, just know that when you go to an apartment box and you're opening up that box, you're basically attached to that box and that lock when you have the keys attached to your belt loop. So what I normally do, I unlock the box and I take the keys out so that way I'm not attached to the lock of that box. Mail carriers, you know what I'm talking about. That is a dangerous situation to be in because unless you're going to break your belt loop, you're not getting out of trouble if anything happened to you. Maintain a comfortable speed while you're out riding and doing your walking loops and stuff like that. The whole day, just deliver the mail at a comfortable pace and that way that pace will be your normal pace and the supervisors and everything, they'll understand that, okay, it takes this guy about eight hours, eight, eight hours and 15 minutes, you know, to run this route or whatever. You don't want to go fast sometime. You don't want to slow down sometime. You want to seem consistent. And also the customers throughout the day, they'll appreciate that a lot more as well. 
be a friendly communicator with the people out on the route. Like, I don't want to say you want to build relationships, but that is something that will happen if you are a friendly communicator. Okay. You want the job to be enjoyable. So you don't want to not walk in a building and people are not smiling. I happy to see you and those things because it kind of makes the job depressing and you almost feel like a background person. Like you don't even exist in real life. So be a good communicator with your people, man, and let them know who you are. You know, if you want to give them some details about your life as you walk in and out so they can get to know you a little better, that's fine. And also, quick tip, being a good communicator also opens up the opportunity for you to get gifts during the holidays, okay? Keep that in mind. The way that you handle complaints from customers has to be peaceful and it has to be graceful and understanding. Even if the customer is unaware of how things work at the post office, you have to be light and you have to be gentle with them and explain to them the process, what goes on, why the package may not be here, but it's on its way. Be patient with them, look up the tracking information for them on the street, show them what's going on, tell them to the best of your ability what's going on. And if you can't, forward them to the supervisor at the post office, give them the number and let them handle it from that point on. This is something that people do not do and that is learn how to use light blue. Light blue is your portal for everything that you need to know about your paperwork, your job, position, your responsibilities, your paycheck, your W-4. Go over light blue and get familiar with the functions on light blue because light blue will help you set your life up for the future, okay? Everything is on there. Postal leads, get familiar with job bidding, e-careers. You know, there's a lot of things on there that are essential to your mailman career. Um, in the future, I'll do a video going over light blue and how to navigate light blue and all the things that are on light blue so that you'll know exactly what's going on with that, man. It's a great portal to be familiar with. Woo! Be familiar with your scanner. Like I know most of you guys should have the new scanner. It's the one that kind of looks like a like a cell phone. It's a lot thinner than the ones that we used to have that were a lot thicker. Um, but that scanner, man, it'll give you a lot of information about your day. It'll tell you how many packages you have. It'll tell you what your next address is. Um, only if you do the load truck function in the beginning of the day, you know. So make sure you do the load truck function in the morning time. And that way, all of those packages will be in the scanner. And I want to say, honestly, they're in the scanner even if you don't complete the load truck process. I'm not sure about that. But I, I always load my truck up in the morning time using the scanner, scanning every package and organizing it in the back of the truck. But that scanner, that new scanner, even though it's GPS tracking and it's tracking out every move. I know some carriers don't like that, but there's a lot of information in that scanner. So on your break, sometimes you could go into that scanner and get familiar with it and check out all the features and all the details um, in that scanner that um, you could possibly learn. And that will also help you have a better day as well. So that's all the things that I feel like are essential priorities to know while you're being a mail carrier. And if you guys have anything else that you want to add, leave it down in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more, more content, man, about working there and enjoying your life at the same time. Also, as always, I'm going to give a shout out to BMG Money. I love BMG Money. I have a link in the description of all my videos, man. If you ever wanted to take that opportunity to deal with them as a financial institution to upgrade your life and to invest in things and to invest in yourself, BMG Money is the way to go. I've used them for several years, man. And BMG Money is the reason why I'm here today so you guys have a great day don't forget to like and subscribe to the video i'll see you on the next one